Welcome back and back now with the CBS3 Pet Project with animal advocate Carol Erickson and the PSPCA <laughs> and one of our favorites who just happens to love me, Marvin, your this dog. Is, yeah, this is my dog, Marvin. Adopted him from the show back in November. He's been on several times. Uh, generally, when they're so busy at the shelter that they can't bring a dog for us, but mm -hmm. there are certainly plenty of dogs there for adoption that you'll love just as much as I love Marvin. You know, what, what I want to talk about today is the fireworks that will be coming. You may have heard some last night. They've been going on. And, and as you know, Jan, mm -hmm. we have fireworks not just for the 4th of July, right. but for days and days. days. And people who have pets who are reactive to that, and so many are, face a real problem. And you're going to be finding them pacing and panting. They're hiding. They're trying to stay next to you. My number one piece of advice, do not take your pet to a fireworks show. Mm -hmm. That noise is too loud. The flashing lights, etc. It creates a real problem. Some dogs get so bad that they do have to have medication and you will get with your vet with that and it's got to be given several hours in advance of this because it takes that kind of uh, time to work also don't wait until July the 3rd and say you know what my dog really is bad you really need to be thinking about this kind of thing even before the 4th of July because these kinds of noises can really upset the animals yeah. terrifically and when they hear that they get scared they might run away too it is the number one day for an animal to run away because of the noise so it's a just great advice to make sure that you've set up a secure room in your house. And also okay. another great piece of advice, do not punish them. These, these animals are terrorized anyway. They have mm -hmm. a noise phobia and about 93% of dogs with a noise phobia will react to fireworks. So mm. it's, it's a real high trigger for them. You need to work with your veterinarian if it's bad or you need to do a few other things. Let me show you just a full screen graphic here and we'll talk about some of these items that, uh, that can help. Now, proper ID and microchipping. We mentioned number one day to run away. You've got to keep them secure. Just being out in the yard is not enough for a dog that is afraid. Bring them into the house. Some people try to play the fireworks recordings early. This takes weeks, months. I don't know how effective that hmm. is, and I don't know anybody who's ever tried it, but some of the experts say you could. Create that secure area. Give them that special treat or toy, something to keep them calmer. Add a quiet place to your house. And how do you do that? Well, you keep your windows closed. You keep the blinds drawn. You put maybe a box fan up so that you get hmm. that kind of noise that's going to create uh, sort of the, the, the feeling that everything is okay. Try a thunder shirt, you, but this has to be put on in advance of it. You can't have a dog in full panic mode mm -hmm. and expect that any of this stuff is going to work. You need to plan in advance that the fireworks are going to trigger them, and the fireworks works will trigger a lot of them. Some experts even say, you know what? <laughs> Go find a kennel far away from any place where fireworks are. Mm. Maybe board your dog for the night. Now, a dog like Marvin, we saw him whining a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's a little agitated being here. Mm -hmm. I, there were fireworks last night. I heard him whining, and I thought, hmm, I haven't had him that long. I don't really know how he reacts to a full-on July 4th. He's not going to be going to any fireworks show, and I'm going to be doing all the tips that I suggested that people do, because really it's, it's the only way to know that you're going to keep mm -hmm. them calm and not add to this problem year after year. If you find your dogs getting worse and worse and worse every year, that's when you really need to get with your with your veterinarian who knows about some of the, the drugs that can work to calm the system okay. of these dogs. Some dogs are just more emotionally reactive than other dogs. Let's talk about a couple of dogs that are available for adoption right now. Look at Beauty. And isn't, Jan, isn't this dog a beauty? Two-year-old Pity, super sweet, very social, good with people, dogs, would, and actually would love another dog to play with. She's Aww. very gentle and is great with kids kids five and up. And then we have Capone. Capone lived with a family for a long time and they brought him back. I see a little tiny bit of beagle in that little mm -hmm. shortened face. Love that face. He's goofy, friendly, mild mannered. He loves his toys, takes naps, other dogs. And then Fluff, if you need a cat in your house and who doesn't, 11 years old. Oh. He's mature. He likes the finer things in life, you know, like the nap in the sunshine on your I window. I like that too. Yep, he's a good <laughs> candidate for uh, for people who know that, you know, when you're 11, you just want a little me time. Yeah, absolutely. And again, just think about the 4th of July fireworks well ahead of time. Absolutely. Great and plan advice. Accordingly. And you can adopt any pet at the Erie Avenue headquarters for the PSPCA. That's at 350 Erie Avenue, Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 5, Monday through Friday, 1 to 8. And Marvin, you are the cutest. He you're really a ham is. now. Look at you. He